All right, Mech Warriors. So, this is going to be a short one. Um, it's a three skull mission. I am working on my Free World League reputation. So, on my way over to that direction, I'm running across a couple of these little tiny missions. Um, obviously, running a 390, 380 ton uh, assault lance. You know, a lance of uh, medium mechs is not going to last long. Um, in my attempt to min-max lately, I've been adding a bunch of missiles on everybody, taking off all their lasers. Um, just for grins, I happened to grab a Stalker Salvage last mission, which completed my mech, and I thought, what the heck? So, I decided to see how many PPCs I could slap on that sucker. Um, the answer is four. Um, there is six hard points there, but with the amount of heat generated, um, well, I could lower the armor enough to get six PPCs in there. Um, the heat was only one bar, uh, which was... Uh, so you get one, maybe two alphas out of that, which seemed kind of silly. So I dropped it down to four. Um, we were back up to four heat bars of efficiency. Um, so I want to see how it goes. Obviously, we're not going to be taking much damage from medium max, but um, I really wanted to see how the heat works on that stalker, so this will work fine. Um, we are also in a polar environment, which is going to help. going to skew my results, but hey, what are you going to do? Do -do -do. <laughs> 40 tons. <laughs> he goes running around the corner, hey look, I'm a big boy! Yeah, he's going to die horribly. A cicada. Two medium lasers and a small laser. Um, oh, we need worse. Ah, uh, let's see. I don't even know if I can get anybody on the Yeah, I can't. I can get somebody on the plane. Alrighty. On my way. Let's put him to bed. Let's see. That's polar. It's an extra 20% on our heat sinks. Um, I did just grab a heat exchanger off of, uh, out of the store, which I've never seen before. Um, in theory, the heat exchanger is going to kind of run like a heat sink on your processor or any computer. Oh, yeah, that'd be funny. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> oh, all those stacks of evasion. Oh, that hurts. That hurts. <clears throat> uh, the heat exchanger basically um, wraps all of your weapons, so all the waste heat goes into a some kind of reserve and then that reserve is then um, funneled out to your heat sinks. That way if you've got a, a PPC in your right arm the heat exchanger can funnel that excess heat to say your left leg heat sink where there's no other heat being generated so it can really dump that heat out pretty efficiently. So, I got cocky, obviously. <laughs> um, you know, these, these medium mechs really have a lot of evade. Um, something I haven't had to deal with for so long because, you know, I'm fighting for five skull missions where you might get one Go bar of evasion. Um, I was not ready Go for down. that cicada to come up and that difficult to hit. Of course, now he's got none left. <laughs> Four PPCs. Let's see how it goes. So, that was a butt ton of heat. Um, honest to God, there's like a dozen heat sinks in this thing. Um, it's nothing but four PPCs and heat sinks. Um, I dropped all the armor to like 100 points on each location, except the center torso, I think it's at 180. It is it's kind of kind of stupid. Um, Acknowledge. You know, stalkers naturally are really shitty with heat, and then to go on top of that and add a bunch of heat hog items is really not a great idea. But you know, it was the mech I had lying around, so locking target. Um, you know, it's got. I got my missile stalker because he had a, That's a kill. 
four missile slots, and I've got this GPC Stalker because he had six laser slots. Um, I really should go through my storage and find mechs that are a little more heat friendly. Maybe an Atlas. I have to check the hard point on Atlas. Um, but finding mechs with four missile hard points or four laser hard points are kind of hard to come by. Oh, this is one of the problems with some of these missions. Um, you get, it's really bad if there's any tanks on the field. But you get the tanks or these mechs that just kind of go back and forth and back and forth and back and forth. Um, you're gonna have to come to them. Commander. Uh, I don't want to move him. Hey there. And... Waiting on you, Commander. I live oh, to serve. stalking horse. I'm going. I'm gonna, I'm gonna LRF that dude down there. Move my missile stalker. Sensors locked on. Receiving you. Moving to position. Acknowledged. One PPC and an LRF 10. Well, that wasn't too bad, um, considering how much evasion they have. Um, I'm really kind of happy. Um, on a assault mech, that would actually fill the stability bar. Good to go. So I hit enough that I'm happy. Uh, I don't think we're gonna range those auto cannons. Those SRMs are definitely out. Yeah, just the LRMs, which is fine. Feel the love. Knock that bad boy over. Come on. Oh. Not quite enough. That last box of stability still has what a bit left in it. But here comes the PPC stalker. Yes, it's like two hits that fills up this. Commencing alpha strike. As fun as it is to see four PPCs on the rack. Um, this is definitely not the chance to do it in. Um, it's getting pretty hot in here, Commander. Oh, the heat exchanger. The heat exchanger, um, got eyes on I think way. it was a default stock heat exchanger. So, it had no pluses on it. And it lowered heat generated by your weapons by 10%. Um, something like that stalker, that's going to be a huge amount. Um, I did the math on my king crab that I dropped it in. And it's going to allow him to get off four entire alphas before being at max heat, not um, before the critical warning, um, instead of three. So that's huge deal. I mean, that is something I really, really wanted to have happen. Um, yes, Commander. Let's see. I don't know if I'll be able to get up over that direction. One of the worst things about these maps is you never know where you're going to get locked in. I hate to get up there and realize I've got to come all the way back down to get out. Um, I'm going to once again sensor lock this bad boy. I've got a sensor lock. He's down, so he's free. Oh, no! No! Oh, what a waste! I hate it when that happens. I was really hoping one of the other mechs was going to move so I can get the next attack in to actually drop him. Oh, that stings. Okay. Ready for orders. Uh, we are actually Confirm. looking at his back there. Um, this might actually drop him. Um, I'm actually going to... Let's see. No. He's just barely, barely, barely there. Um, one of the things that I don't like to do, um, if I look here, 
I'm looking at his, right? I'm gonna be hitting his, what is that right side there? Um, so there's the hits I can hit. I can hit the head, left torso, left arm, or left leg. If I was straight on, I had all of these target areas I could hit on a random. Um, so your armor would, your hits would be spread out against his armor. Since he's on the left side towards me, I'm either going to hit the left torso, the left arm, or the left leg. Um, it really reduces the number of hit locations, which means you're really going to be pounding on those couple spots. Um, it's going to do a lot of damage. Kind of why I like to be face on, just to spread the damage out. That hit something good. <laughs> so we did a massive amount of damage there. Um, he now is out of weapons. Uh, so I'm going to ignore him. Um, he will probably eventually try to get into melee range. And when he gets close, I'll just drop Systems him. Holding. Uh, let's see. Alright, I'm going to move my... Uh, oh, okay. So I'm going to move him up. Don't need to tell me twice. Like I said, I could have attacked this guy by moving over. Uh, that griffin that has no weapons left. But, at this point, I really need to brace this guy. Wow! <laughs> okay. Um, so you saw, uh, he was at nearly critical heat. One brace, and it dropped his heat to darn near zero. So, those heat sinks are really kicking butt. I'm just... Those PPCs are just generating way too much heat. Um, wow, that was amazing. He actually is at zero heat. I'm... Wow. <laughs> Receiving okay, so... Um, I guess I'll be doing... I copy. Two attacks of alphas on with my four PPCs, and then one phase of resting. Um, it is what it is. Um, you know, let's see, there's three reinforcements are coming in. And Just for grins. He will stand up, but I couldn't get him anywhere else. I could have, you know, fired both AC-20s and probably dropped him, but... Um, it's still early enough that I am concerned about the evasive stacks, so I'm really trying not to blow all my ammo early. Alright, so this is evasion. Three stacks of evasion. Um, I'm here. We'll move him forward. Now, I want to try an alpha. That's the cannon with my PPC stalker. Just because. I think it look funny. Oh, you know. Screw it. I'm just going to drop this guy. Acknowledged. Even with all of this evasion, <laughs> there's just too much damage there. As you can see, the Gauss rifle and the AC-5 did more than enough to just take him out straight. He's gonna stand up. I don't care. He's a wet noodle. Looks like he's gonna try and get melee range. Um, unfortunately for him, yes, Commander. You know, oh, he can get in range of somebody else. Okay, not everybody will though. So whoever can't get in range of somebody else is going to attack him. He's going to be very sad. Uh, let's see. Let's check the spread on this one. I copy. This is one of those few times that I would actually consider the TTS to actually play a decent benefit. You know, get somebody with, uh, you know, ballistics or missiles on the uh, TTC or TTS. Increase that. 
damage is minor, Commander. <sighs> Accuracy. Considering he's got nothing but missiles, that would actually be pretty good. Uh, let's see. Waiting for orders. Oh, you know? Oh, and I've got nobody left that can. You betcha. PPCs have a lot of range. Got it. That should knock over that Shadow Hawk. I had three hits. Three out of four. That's pretty good. <clears throat> um, as it goes, I think I like my Missile Stalker better than the PPC Stalker. Um, the Missile Stalker does What's just up, about huh? as much, does more stability, I think. Um, and he is a great deal more effective um, just because he doesn't have any problems. What to do, what to do. You know, I'm really not worried about that Griffin getting in. Oh, well, there we go. Um, this should be fun. Uh, I'm going to burn some ammo here. Affirmative. We saw those AC-20s both missed. So there are two, four mechs left. I got enough ammo to last, so I'm not too worried about that. Oh, uh, let's see. Order. Where is... I hear ya. Move him forward. On my way. This is gonna be his second alpha. Before he pauses. Let's see what we got. 130. He's down. I'm gonna have to fire at least three. Take this. Since I'm gonna pretty much have to wait. If I fire three, I'm still gonna be in too much heat to alpha gotcha. next time I'm to pause, so one for bonus. My heat's getting pretty high. <sighs> A grasshopper. Ugh, Ugh. All those medium lasers. And of course the phone rings. Alright, see ya.